If you're a designer and you're tired of hunting for the perfect image, Vistacrate has a new AI tool that allows you to generate photorealistic images, 3D illustrative styles, all within one text prompt and it's commercially safe. I'm going to show you some real use cases on how you can generate the best image. So let's click on AI at the top menu and we're going to jump right into it. And we can see here we've got our canvas. All the tools are on the left hand side. You've got your image generator and your box where you can generate a prompt. You get 100 generations completely for free, which is awesome. And you've also got some predetermined IDs. If you scroll down, you can actually try out any of these IDs. If you put your mouse over, it gives you the prompt, which I think is really cool. So for example, if I want this ID, I can click try. It's going to show me what the prompt is. And then maybe I want to tweak it a little bit. So maybe let's say a robot. Uh, so I'm featuring a robot in a desert with cactuses surrounding him. Cool. Now we can change the ratio. So if we want square, if we want more of a portrait, we can actually change it to that as well. And we can also do a wide composition. You can also change it if you want artistic style, so more like animated um, type of look. Or if you want like real stock photography, then you can change to that. I'm going to leave it on art because on more of an artistic style. And I'm going to just click generate. Now to get good results, you want to just make the text prompts really specific. This one doesn't need a lot of descriptive words. Just make sure that you're describing um, the scene or the character really well in just simple text prompt. Now you're probably familiar, just like other uh, AI generators, is it gives you four different uh, options or variations. Now you can see currently I've just clicked on the image and it loads it onto my canvas. And that's because I have to change my canvas size. So with Vistacrate, it's really cool. You can just go to the top right, click resize, and then I can change it, say, to an Instagram post or a story, a poster, really whatever you're doing. It could be even custom as well. Maybe it's for like a thumbnail or something. So I can do a custom size. We can go 1920 by 1080. I'll click copy and resize. And then now I can just scale this up and it should fit the canvas. And cool, we've got our little robot here, which is super cool. And you can see it's got that artistic um, style. That's a fast way to just get started on a quick idea. Now, what if you want to create, say, 3D mockups for a product or something? I'll just say a laptop with leaves and oranges around it, wooden background. And I'm going to leave it on auto and we can stick with wide and click generate. Cool, we've got some more options here. I'm going to click and drag some of these options. So you can see this one, it's created sort of two laptops on top of each other for some reason. So I'm going to delete that one. Uh, you got this one here on a wooden you know, background and then leaves surrounding it. You know, this that's kind of nice, but it doesn't really look like a laptop. This one's pretty cool. It looks like a very small laptop though, but I like how you got the leaves and oranges around that. It's really cool. And you've got this simple one as well. So you really can play around with it and you can always just uh, regenerate some more. So if I want to change the size, say maybe I just want a square, I can generate more and or use the same prompt and just regenerate it using a different aspect ratio. So we can see some more options here. It generated in a square fashion. This one's really nice. It's got like that uh, Apple Mac laptop and yeah, you can crop it as we can see if we can put it on any image, any type of background really. And we can always just resize uh, it once again. And you know, we could do an Instagram post, copy resize and we can scale it up. The resize feature is really effective when you just want to do a lot of say a lot of different files for different platforms cool now let's go for a another idea let's go with more of a portrait so i'm gonna go for photo photography and i'm gonna type in a male staring into the distance with cinematic lighting in a studio with stars in the background and we'll click generate on that Cool. This is a nice shot. I like the studio lights in the background. You got some clear shadows here. Uh, you got also depth of field. See how there's got the blur on the edges, which is really nice. And he looks pretty natural. He's got this. <laughs> I don't know what this is, massive lump or vein is on his head. It's kind of interesting. Uh, let's click this one. That's nice too. Because I typed in cinematic lighting, it gave me sort of a warm and cool tone. That's pretty nice. You got different angles. So I like how. What it does, it gives you different options. So, you know, it's really easy to drag and drop it. And if you already have like a design or something, they have like hundreds and thousands of templates that we can use. So for example, let's say maybe we want to maybe type in cyberpunk style. I'm gonna generate more. And then also if I go to templates, I'm gonna drop in this template here. And then I can easily just swap out. I can easily just delete this image and then go back to our generated image. Cool. And I typed in cyberpunk style and it changed it, the lighting to obviously, you know, that famous style of like pink and blue neons. Then I can just change the aspect ratio, use the corners to scale it down a bit. Cool. We've got that. And you can see we've got some other images here. And then maybe I just want to change this background. I can go photos and we can go...
Yeah, cool. And you can create something just using a simple image. Now we can also create some 3D objects as well. Once again, just putting a specific prompt, a 3D cube, a sphere in bright pink and blue, yellow zigzag lines in background, black grid for 80 style lighting, purple glow, sharp edges and shiny surface. Let's click generate. Uh, we can delete this design here. We just got a black background, which is fine. And got some really funky uh, design here. You got nice floors of the glow there. Got some like weird shapes going on. Uh, you can see some of the other versions here which I think is pretty cool. So it got some of the uh, zigzag lines, not in this image, but in some of the other ones. Um, black grid for 80 style lighting, purple glow. What if we changed it to say um, green glow, got rid of the zigzag lines and just go background 3D cube in blue and white gradient. Clouds in the background, beach on the floor. And we'll go 3D, uh, Pyramid. we we'll type translucent and let's click generate more. Cool. Now this is funky. So we've got some of these designs. I love the variety we got here. One is more like with the sun hitting it. And then we've got uh, this one here within the water, which is nice. This one feels like a floating. The lighting, you can see it's hitting the shape and then you've got the reflection, the water, which is cool. And then this one's like more minimalistic, simple. Um, so it did pretty well with uh, following our prompt there. And then let's say we want to use this one. There you go, you can create uh, just a quick graphic using these AI images and then you can just swap it out really easily, which I think is really cool. So if you want to give it a try, I actually do have a special discount that you can use. Just use the code Jeremy Mirror Design 20 and you can get 20% off the annual pro plan. So try it out if you want to generate some cool images and you get access to all the other great assets they have. They have millions of images that they've trained and they've got templates that you can use. Thanks so much for watching. If you do want to see me create a brand design, you can actually watch this video here where I use AI tools to create a logo.